over here. Anyways, so we're going to start. I've been working on the open muscle system, which is a muscle contraction and detection system. Um, and it's all under the presumption that I can get meaningful data from sensors on the forearm to be able to put into an artificial neural network to find the pattern of what fingers the person is trying to move, right? And this is for someone that has an amputation of the hand but still has the forearm muscles intact. I've been developing an open muscle for a long while. And one of the most recent things that I've developed is the LASK system. I have another video on what the LASK system is, but for this video, I'll keep it short. It, it stands for Label Seeking Device. So I'm trying to apply the labels to the data so that way I can properly find the best artificial neural network to solve this problem. So today I got some mail in. This is the PCBs for version two. Uh, version 1 did work, but it had a couple of errors. Uh, I'm excited about this project because uh, artificial intelligence, or specifically artificial neural networks, can solve a myriad of problems, and the prosthetic sensor problem is definitely solvable. It's more of a matter of how much time and energy it's going to take into the problem, not uh, can it. So with that, I got these PCBs in the mail. There was a little bit of inception going on. And I now want to mention JELC PCB, even though they're not a sponsor. Um, even though they're not sponsored, I do want to say from a maker's perspective, being able to prototype something um, that I couldn't solder, uh, being able to ship something away, have them make it for relatively inexpensive is just quite amazing. I get much joy from being able to live in a time in which I can design a PCB from watching YouTube videos of someone else design them and pestering my really smart friends all the way to uh, making a PCB that actually functions, let alone uh, uh, is made. So it's just a beautiful era we live in. Uh, I like using JLC PCB because I find them to be the least expensive. But hey, so let's see what we have here. Pretty neat. It has some uh, bubble wrap stuff. So if we put it under my microscope, we see that it says order number, internal number, last version two. So yes, the first version didn't work out so well. I do have those boards laying somewhere, but I'm not worried about opening it. I'm also probably not going to use this audio because... I'm far away from my microphone. I'm not an audio snob, but hopefully it didn't scratch. Yeah, it did uh, scratch a little bit of it. Okay, here we are. The last. Oh, this time they gave me a rubber band. This kind of looks like a deck of cards. Like I designed. Oh, and the rubber band is stuck. We have the last 2.0. Okay, looks pretty decent. This is the front. I actually properly labeled these for the most part. The two things that I changed about this. One is that uh, last time the surface mounted uh, hall sensors uh, weren't wired up to power. The output was, but the power wasn't. So those are all wired up this time. I did do shielding on both sides again on accident. This is the ESP32 S2 mini slot. This is the extra that I added. I added a couple extra jumpers and uh, header pins just in case I wanted to do something else that this board doesn't have built into it. This is the power switch, which allows the device to actually get uh, charge the battery and also discharge the battery. You just saw the unboxing of the LASK system. In the next video, I'll actually get into uh, me soldering all the components and showing you the end product. This is all for the Open Muscle Project, which is a muscle contraction and detection system. I'm trying to use pistons or piston-like apparatus or apparati to actually measure the topology of the forearm. The future design is actually going to be utilizing um, a type of rubber that will actually depress, kind of like a uh, silicon spring or a urethane spring. But yeah, so I've been getting some results. I'm working on the machine learning. I am glad you guys joined me for my uh, adventure. Uh, all this is trying to help solve the prosthetics problem, bringing the reduced price in prosthetics. So everything that I do is open source and also open hardware. I've adopted the open hardware license from CERN. That was actually by recommendation from another amazing company, Ultimate Robotics. 
Ultimate Robotics actually designs real uh, sensors, and they're solving the same problem, and they're doing it in a very awesome way. They're in Ukraine right now, so they're battling the war, many other adversity, but they still are pursuing their mission. I encourage you guys to view their YouTube channel. You can join their Discord. I have an unboxing video. Go ahead and watch that. This uh, area of makerspace is amazing to be able to tinker on things, to potentially help people. When sometimes the world gets me down, it's difficult if I can't make a positive impact. Sometimes just spending my time, my energy, or encouraging others to do an amazing job like they do is uh, is something at least is, is better than nothing, right? So with that, definitely check out Ultimate Robotics, link in the description. Let's see if we can make a positive difference in this world.